Well, Listag is probably one of the most, other than the normal group buy, it's probably one of the most useful things that's been added in, uh, added in fairly recently. Listag was actually introduced to uh, Oracle in Oracle 11 release 2. Uh, so, so most of you, I'm sure, are in Oracle 11 or 12. So therefore, this would be available to you. Well, what Listag is going to do is it's going to take some column that would normally be listed if you show detailed data. And the problem is when you do a group by, you're grouping by certain columns, but the other columns are lost. The data from the other columns are lost. Well, we don't want to lose all that data. We may want to list it in some way in a group. Normally, you couldn't do that in the past, but with the list tag, you can do that. So that's what we're going to see here, and you'll see some examples. OK, so let's start with some raw data. Let's just look at our order table and notice that we have three pieces of information here. We have a cust note, an order note, total order price. And notice for customer number one, we have two orders, order one and order two, 230 and 5098. We are going to do a group by, we're going to group by cust note, and we're going to display the cust note and the sum of the total order price. Nothing new there. That's exactly what we've been doing all along. It's a normal aggregate function. So we're going to see custom number one, 280.98 is the total for the sum of the total order price. And our group I will do that for all of our all of our uh, groups. So let's see that. Very simple. Normal select custo and sum of total order price. Group by group. Uh, group by the custo, and we're going to order it by custo. And there's your result, there's your 280.98. Just one thing to note here, I'll just mention the normal golden group by rule. I like to call it a golden group by rule um, because, and the, because the rule tells you what you have to do when you have a select with aggregate functions. Whenever you have a select with aggregate functions, all the columns in the select that do not have an aggregate must be in the group by. Well, we have two columns, Custno and sum of total order price. The sum is an aggregate. Custno is not, so Custno has to be in the group by, and everything works fine. Okay, so that's fine. We're good. We have the summary data, but notice what we do not have. We do not display the order numbers. Well, on the previous slide, we had all the order numbers, but since we're grouping it by Custno, we have left off the order numbers. We don't see that. We would like to see the order numbers there. Um, so what are we going to try? First thing I'll try is I'll just to try to display the order number. Well, if you do that, you know you're going to get your infamous Aura 979, not a group by expression. Why? Because you violated the golden group by rule. The golden group by rule says you have to group by all the columns that do not have aggregates, so you must group by cust no and order no. All right, so this, this is not going to work to display the order numbers. So the first thing you might say is, all right, well, I'll group by cust no and order no, but that's not going to help you at all. When you group by both, what happens? You're back where you started in the very first slide. If I go back here a few slides, I had all the details with no group by. But I had every order as one row. Well, when I group by cust no and order no, I'm back to every order with run, one, one row for every order. And I have a group by, but it's not helping me. So how do you solve this? Oracle introduced the list tag. Uh, the list tag group function, and let's see how that works.